Good morning, everybody. <laughs> this is Venice. She's one of Zeus and Bella's puppies. And I think she's uh, about 12 weeks old right now. She's going to get a, a couple of little lessons on some of the basic behaviors that that people like their puppies to have. And one of the things that I get a lot of questions about is, especially with the puppies, but all dogs, I guess, but it starts with the puppies, is the jumping up on people when they come to greet you. Uh, and what happens is quite often, especially when they're cute like this and this little size, when they come and jump up on you, when they come and jump up on you, you uh, usually go, oh, look how cute, and you pet them, and you say how nice they are, and you might even pick them up. And so now what you've done is you've taught this puppy that all she has to do is come and do that, jump up on me, and I'm going to give her love and attention and maybe even, uh, maybe even a treat eventually. <clears throat> then as they start to get a little bit older and maybe a little bit bigger and maybe not so cute little size like this and when they jump up on us we have the tendency to kind of move them off with our with our arms just like that and when I do that just swipe away with my hand to to move her away <clears throat> what I've done is I have touched her and that's what she's really wanting so if I touched her when she jumps in her mind she's gonna feel that the more I jump, the more he'll touch. So I'll just keep doing that. And, 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 and that continues until it gets to a point that uh, people start to complain that their, that their dog is a, a problem that way. Dennis, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So what you really wanna do with a puppy is you wanna teach the puppy when they're gonna come and greet you to run up to you and to sit. And I do it, I don't give the sit command. What I really want the dog to do is to start using her brain to try to figure out what it is that she needs to get the treats from me. The positive reinforcement trainers will probably tell you to, you know, turn your back away from the dog, ignore the, the behavior until the dog sits. And, and I have nothing against that. Um, I think this works better and it's positive as well. So I'm going to let her have a treat so that she knows that I have a treat. And now, without using the command, because she's already started to pick up that word, I'm just going to wait until she figures out what she needs to do. Yeah, no barking, no. Good girl. So I don't like the bark, but she did the sit. So I'm going to... I moved a little bit to get her to move. Yes. As soon as her butt comes up, I re retreat. I want her to really make the connection. Now we're getting a little bit of a problem here with, with that little barking, so I have to be careful that I don't give her the treat for barking. So I want her to think this all out. This, this takes a while. Remember, she's only 12 weeks old. Yes, good girl. Good girl, yes, that's a good girl. Yeah. No barking. Quiet. Quiet. No. I'm not gonna, no. No, no, no. Now I'm turning away and I'm ignoring that behavior. I want her to do what I want her to do, which is sit. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm trying not to make eye contact with her when she's barking. 
I want her again to think this all out and to make the connection for what is she really getting the treat for. <clears throat> Even though she's sitting, she's barking, so I'm not going to reward that behavior. Yes, good girl. Good girl, yes. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Yeah, good girl. And I just kind of move around a little bit just to get her to move. It wasn't quite a bark, but it wasn't what I wanted either. So again, I'm just moving around to get her to figure out what combination works here. Yes, yes, good girl, good girl, yes. No, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, good girl, and that's it. I'm not gonna press it anymore. I'm gonna give her the rest of these treats. I'm gonna put her away, uh, and, and, and that's it, I'm not gonna, you know, four or five minutes, we had a couple of successes. She has not learned this, but I'm gonna repeat this. Always be consistent, ABCs. I'm gonna repeat this over and over again. I am not, I'm gonna consciously try not to um, touch her when she jumps up on me from now on. I'm not going to pick her up and cuddle her and love her when she jumps up on me like this. But when she does come up to me and she sits down, then I am going to give her all of the love and attention that she needs. Now, I'm not going to do any more here to, it, at this moment because it, it should only be about two, three, four minute kind of exercise, and that's it. We ended on a positive. She's being a little naughty right now. That's because she really hasn't learned yet the exercise. She's just starting to figure it out. So I have to be consistent and do it over and over again. Just remember, don't touch her with your hands. Don't pick her up when she jumps on you. Um, uh, it's real easy to do with these little cute fuzzballs that just look so lovable that we just can't resist it. Right? Right? Come over here, you. Yeah, you. So that's it for today. <laughs> Thank you.